Ooh, raw skills. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Bundesliga uncovered time. Borussia Dortmund. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to stop myself from saying stuff like Borussia Bottlemund. I'm gonna have to stop myself, man. I've never been like this, where I had to be neutral. But here's Dortmund's Lucien Favre problem, or as I like to call it, a dilemma. I have always described Dortmund as an attractive guy that doesn't have any confidence. They don't actually even know they're attractive. Dortmund, for me, whenever I look at them, I'm like, you know what? They have a lot of potential to be able to win the league. But if they could just switch this one thing, they'd be very, very, very much on their way there. I've spoken to a lot of Dortmund fans and they all have this misconception in their heads that Lucien Fabra is this young up and coming manager that needs time to develop. That's just simply not true. Lucien Favre has been managing in Germany for an accumulative six years. And guess how many trophies he has won? Actually, it is numero uno. It's the Super Cup. You know what? Oh my goodness. Congratulations. You won the Super Cup. Oh my goodness. I never knew that. Sorry, Lucien. The Super Cup is very important. Here's my problem personally as a Bayern fan looking inside with Lucien Favre. He has a very okay plan. It's not a perfect plan. He's not Julian Nagelsmann. His system isn't that fluid. He doesn't necessarily possess the best type of charisma as Jurgen Klopp did. When he hugs players, he kind of looks like a damn nerd or kind of looks like a damn pervert. I'm sorry, that's a weird word and I shouldn't use it on anyone unless I know they are. But let's be honest, he looks awkward when he hugs players because again, it doesn't look like it's part of his personality. It's not about charisma for me, but for me, it's the plan. He doesn't have a plan, or a consistent one at least. He doesn't know when to use a back three and when to use a back four. He's still conflicted whether or not two CDMs is good. He still wants to use Emery Chan as a third center back, despite him being a no center back, because he's a midfielder, a defensive-minded midfielder. His tactical identity isn't there. You can argue that Lucien Favre, if you look at all his clubs he has been at, Zurich in Switzerland is the most successful he's been at, picking up 1.88 points per game in 164 matches. To put that into comparison, he managed Mönchengladbach for a good four years, 189 matches, 1.65 points per game. I'm not necessarily saying this just to say he's trash. 1.88 points is still very decent, but I'm actually trying to compare. At Dortmund right now, his points per game tally is 2.03, which tells me one thing. He is overachieving as a manager at Borussia Dortmund, not because of his managerial skills that couldn't be reflected in the other jobs, but because of the squad and the quality Dortmund possess. I don't see Fabra as a world-class manager. In fact, I think he's actually a level below. I don't think he's a top five manager in the Bundesliga based purely on his ability. But however, Borussia Dortmund have such an impeccably good squad that you can expect them to be where they are. But George, he has a better points per whatever than Klopp did. So you mean to tell me Jurgen Klopp that won two Bundesligas in a row, a double, got to a Champions League final, got outdone by Lucien Favre? Do you actually mean to tell me that? This guy can't even hug right. How is he going to outdo Klopp? So the system thing is very important for me. Dortmund are a team that have a lot of good individuals. You look at Haaland, you look at Royce, you look at these players in their various positions, you look at the experience that they have, they did a better job of bringing Hummels back. I thought that was a smart transfer because you had a lot of young players and you want to mold them. But for me, Lucien Favre's system is very much too dependent on the individual and their skill. The best managers understand their squad, their players. They give them a system to implement and those players improve in that system. Favre, again, doesn't understand his own system. He doesn't understand the style of play he wants. Is he gonna be high pressing or try to keep Dortmund very tight defensively? What does he wanna do? Also, I think it's very much based on the individuals he has. He pretty much just tells Sancho and Haaland and Royce to go out there and get the job done. But I don't understand what this job he's trying to get him to do is. Do Dortmund consistently break down teams the same way each game? Not really. You see Bayern, we try, play in between the lines. We go out wide in between the lines, through ball in behind, cross. It's a, it's a variation of the same thing. And sometimes we do break teams down with individual skills. But 
there comes a time where the individual skill is not present. And how else do you break teams down in this instance? How do you press as a team? You have to have a consistent pattern of play in order for your players to continue to develop. What if a player is out of form, like Sancho is right now? Does that mean you'll lose more games? Yes. Okay, and then what if you have a run of teams like Cologne? Oh, Dortmund lost to Cologne a week ago. Oh my goodness, I wonder why. Must have been the same reason they lost to Augsburg. Must have been the same reason they almost lost to Werder Bremen. Oh, actually, no, they haven't played Werder Bremen yet, so we don't actually know. I think a 1-1 draw. They don't consistently break down teams in the same manner, mainly because they don't have a tactical style. Now, let's get to the more fun stuff. Trophies and mentality. I think Dortmund have always had an inferiority complex. Every single year I hear a Dortmund board member come out and say, oh, Bayern spends so much money. Evil Bayern, you're the reason this league is this way. Oh my goodness, you're bad, you're terrible. But those same people are the exact same board and the members that decided to keep Lucien Favre, whose mentality is good. Bayern sacking Kovac after a double for him having bad performances time and time again the same way Favre has been, or Dortmund keeping Favre for actually losing to Bayern's Nico Kovac. You always try to blame Bayern for some reason. It's not Bayern's fault that you can't break down Werder Bremen. It's really not. What happens when you're beating teams 5-0? Is it Bayern's fault then too? At least give us credit. You can't just have it one way. Oh, it is Bayern Munich's fault and their over exuberance of money spent that makes us lose to Werder Bremen, makes us lose to Perfume FC, Cologne, makes us lose these games. It is Bayern's fault. In fact, Bayern Munich scored the headers when Augsburg beat us 2-0. There's that mentality that Favre has yet to fix. Under Jurgen Klopp, Dortmund were ruthless. Remember in the cup finals when that guy kept getting an Iron Robin's face? Yes, I'm talking about you, super tick. Okay, you were a tick. Annoying. But that was the mentality Dortmund had. It wasn't this, oh, it's Bayern. Oh, Bayern, you're so big and powerful. Oh, no, don't kill me. Not that mentality. You had a different one because you had a different manager. Jurgen Klopp understood how to inspire a certain feeling in your players, and he used that to his advantage. That's why you played so well and so aggressively against Bayern and also against every opponent. He had a system as well. And talking about trophies, what is Dortmund's ambition with Lucien Favre? Because it's surely not to develop your squad, like I just said, they don't have a real style of play to keep developing under. So what is it for? It's not for his trophies because again, one Super Cup in six years in managing in Germany. For me, I just think Dortmund need to make a decision right now on Lucien Favre. Because you have the team, you have the players, you have everything, the atmosphere, you have Mukoko. Mukoko is the way to go. You got it all, but you just need that. The last infinity stone like Thanos. You just need to reverse time and take out Lucien Fabra and bring someone back. Borussia Dortmund don't necessarily need Julian Nagelsmann, someone to develop your squad. I believe despite your squad being so young, it is very much well developed for its age. You need someone that's a proven winner. Max Allegri, he's out there available, and Dortmund fans told me, we can't get him, blah, blah, blah. he won't want to join us. You didn't ask. <laughs> nah, again, you're that guy that's attractive, but you don't know it. <laughs> you didn't ask. How are you going to know the girl's going to reject you when you didn't even approach her or have the confidence to go do it? You have to understand, most managers in the world would love to manage Holland. They would love to manage Royce. They'd love to manage your players. You don't know that because you don't think about it. They'd love to develop a young player. They'd love the Borussia Dortmund project. They'd love to manage in the Champions League, a club that's consistently there. They'd love to manage at a club with 80,000 people in the stadium and one of the hottest atmospheres in the Bundesliga and in Europe in general. They'd love to manage you. Can I, can I at least say that for your heads? Because you think, why would they want to come here? For all the reasons I just stated. Look, I said it. You have a nice stadium. Cool. You got, you got great fans. You have a big fan base. You're a global club. You don't understand this. People actually sympathize with Dortmund. And managers would love to take over Dortmund. But you have to start asking. 
pick up your balls, your cojones, and try and do something. Because you're so stuck up in this victimhood of thinking you're at fault, Byron's at fault, blah, 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 this guy, this guy. Start looking inwards. The reason you're crap isn't because Byron spent more money than you. It's because you have a crap coach. You have a gym teacher as a coach, a PE teacher, physical education. You need to do a PE on him, man, on that PE teacher. A personal evaluation, man. Yeah, those are my thoughts on Dortmund's Lucien Favre dilemma, or just essentially why they should sack him. But thank you everyone so much for watching this. Bye. <laughs>